Hello, welcome to Biswa Global Channel. I'm Simon Chong as Director of Product Division of the Biswa Global. Thank you to all stay with us and follow us in the Biswa Global. Today, this episode will cover the discussion on brand health topic, which may give you an important information to enjoy a healthy, happy and harmony life. Today, we were talking about the central nerve system health with our invited smart lab panel in topic of stay active, boost up your brain power. Brain health is one of the scientific study of the many factors that influence the integrity of the human brain, including physical, psychological, and social force that impact your life. The brain is an incredible organ. It is made up of many different parts which work together to keep you alive and carry out every day's activity and functions. Keeping your brain healthy is essential for living a fulfilling, healthy and longevity life. In fact, scientific research suggests that a brain healthy lifestyle can reduce the risk of developing degenerative diseases such as dementia later in life. As the population age, the burden of neurological disorder and challenge for the promoting brain health has been increased. Basically, brain health affect across all age, gender and race. And reaching the bodies of scientific knowledge around brain health and cognitive ability has the potential to improve quality of life and longevity for many millions of the people and their families. The Center of Disease Control and Prevention, United States, estimate that as many as 5 million Americans were living with Alzheimer's disease in 2014. Globally, brain health issues were the leading cause of disability adjusted life years and the second leading cause of deaths in 2016, according to the Global Burden and Disease Study. Strokes, migraines, Alzheimer's disease, and other dementia and meningitis are the largest source of contribution to neurological disability adjusted life years. Based on the study, roughly 50 million people worldwide have living with dementia in 2018, and the number has more than tripled up to 152 million by 2050. Today, we have a very spacious guest speaker who will share in healthy aging and brain health, which may change our life. It's my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Mark Douglas Smith, our Smart Lab panel member. He is the founder, chairman of the board, and chancellor and dean of the University of Natural Medicine, New Mexico. He has lectured and practiced in health clinics throughout the United States, Canada, Central and South America, Asia and New Zealand. He has been a clinical doctor and instructor of the integrative medicine, nutrition, naturopathic and osteopathic principles in health clinic, hospital and health center throughout the world for over 30 years. Currently, he is the member of the Smart Lab panel of Biswa Global. Let us know more from Dr. Mark Dagenspeak. So let's discuss brain health. You know, it used to be nobody ever thought about feeding the brain. And it's so important because you have to realize that your brain is made up of cells just like the rest of your body. And those are going to degenerate and die and you have to regenerate them. They used to think that your brain cells don't replicate. You can't create new ones. Well, we found out now at, at Cambridge University in Princeton that you do regenerate brain cells on a daily process, every day. So that's why you need to regenerate those cells, keep them alive, keep them vital, keep them functioning. You know, the WHO looks at brain health now as an emerging 
and growing concept in health today. Finally, you know, it's probably one of the most important organs that we have and the least attention focused on it. So you're looking at neuronal development, that's the brain development, the cells, the, the, in, the connections for sending messages to, throughout your whole body, it's essential. Also it has to do with behavioral health, you know, you, so many of your emotions are affected by a healthy brain. And you're looking at cognitive function, you know, better memory, better brain function. So many processes there that we have to focus on, focus is the key. Those are essential that you have active, vital, functioning brain cells to perform these many functions of the body. Good brain health is a state of being. It has to do with everything from our behavior to our thoughts, our bodily processes. All of those are contained and a part of good brain health, which is essential, and happiness and well-being. All of those are such an integral part of how your brain thinks, of what you create in the rest of your being. Brain health today is a growing epidemic because of the toxins in our environment, so many other causes, it creates degeneration, all the stresses we're exposed to. According to the American Heart Association and many other institutes, brain health is becoming a growing epidemic. People may start experiencing Alzheimer's at the age of 20 years of age, already their brain brain is starting to degenerate. When you look at it, three out of five Americans will develop Alzheimer's in their lifetime. That's over half of people over the age of 85. I always say, you know, we should live to be 120, 130 and still have optimal brain function. There's no reason if we live properly that our brains need to degenerate as long as we're getting the proper nutrients to regenerate those cells in our brain. It's a constant process that's going on. The brain cells are dying and they're regenerating. So we need to have the proper nutrients for that regeneration. They're thinking now and predicting that by age 2030, Alzheimer's will cost over $1 trillion a year to deal with. That's why it demonstrates that it's a growing epidemic and we need to put more focus on this, particularly on a brain food. Brain health starts from the moment we're conceived. When mom and papa first made you, created that first cell. Then you became more and more cells until you became an embryo. Then you were born. You need brain health and the right nutrients, that whole process. Then you look at what's happening today. Autism in the world is epidemic. There are millions of children in China alone with autism. In fact, they're thinking by the year 2050 that maybe half of all children in the world will develop autism. Autism is one of the most debilitating, horrific diseases known to humankind. These children become totally incompetent, incapable, totally dependent on their parents or their caregivers. Also, even things like attention deficit disorder. You know, those are all signs, hyperactivity, of improper nutrition and also brain health because that's, that's kind of the conduit. It directs what goes on in our body and our mind and, and how we function in the world today. Then as we get older, as our brains deteriorate and if they're not regenerating like they should, what develops? Dementia. Dementia is like pre-Alzheimer's. That's when things start to go a little chaotic. You don't have the memory you had or you start to act out in different ways behaviorally. You don't function as well. That affects every organ in your body. Alzheimer's doesn't kill anybody. What happens is the brain is not sending the signals to the rest of the organs and the glands and your body to function properly and it deteriorates. Let me say this about Alzheimer's. It is reversible. Don't let anybody tell you different. If you create new brain cells with the proper food nutrients, you're gonna regenerate new brain cells and regain that capability and that brain power that we all deserve to have. So what causes these brain disorders? Well, there's a lot of factors there, but most of them are free radicals and toxins in our environment, even amyloid, they call them amyloid proteins, the peroxides, things of that nature, which are in our system. Some of those we create ourselves, some are in our foods, some are in our environment, heavy metals, chemicals, all of those affect our brain health. In fact, they've shown 
In, in this study that I mentioned earlier about all children, maybe half may have Alzheimer's or see, autism, but in fact, it's been proven at MIT in America by one of the foremost scientists in the world that autism is directly related to Roundup. It's one of the most toxic chemicals in our environment today, in the glyphosates. So we need to look at how we can eliminate these toxins in our system and have better health. Feed our brain rather than kill our brain. That's the key. So let's look at how a functional food like alpha meta can enhance and assist in brain cell development and function. Alpha Meta has bioavailable nutrients, which are actually the foremost brain food in the world. Your brain, it needs the polysaccharides, it needs the energy to feed the brain cells, it needs the amino acids, the polypeptides in order to create, they're the building blocks for new cells. It needs the vitamins and the minerals, and also the essential fatty acids. As I always mention, inflammation is one of the main causes of degenerative disease today. That holds true for the brain as well. So we have to look at essential fatty acids which can help modulate and balance the inflammation in the system today. Alpha Meta provides the raw energy to the brain so it can perform its functions. This keeps the cell active and vital and also able to resist degeneration. This degeneration is a result of toxins free radicals and other things in the environment that cause the cellular degeneration. With the Alpha Meta, we can help vitalize and energize the brain to be able to resist all of these neural toxins which destroy the cells in the brain. We actually did clinical studies in Emory University School of Medicine in America and one of the foremost uh, research institutes in Thailand, PMK Institute, to demonstrate how not only could cells that have been fed with alpha meta, not only would it protect the neuron cells, those are the brain cells, from toxins and free radicals and, and EMF, electromagnetic frequency uh, destruction, that it also would help regenerate the brain cells, creating new dendrites, new axons, which are essential for the communication that has to happen between cells those are essential for being able to direct and create new cells. They have to send the right message to the next cell so that it will develop and then once it starts functioning, that it will function in a vital and very energetic way. With this, what results is prevention of Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, all of those degenerative conditions of the brain, including Parkinson's and other brain disorders. Alpha Meta has a wonderful effect on brain development that is so essential in order for new learning, for cognitive development, for memorization, as well, and focus as well. Those are some of the key things that are necessary, particularly in children as they're developing, when the brains are just starting to develop into a fully functional entity. That's when you need the proper nutrition so that they can grow and develop in a very healthy way. With this, you get cognitive development, you get more brain power, more memory, more focus, and more learning capacity. We're talking about smart kids here. That's what we get as a result. When children are taking Alpha Meta, it's proven that they perform better when it comes to things like reading more flashcards and remembering those flashcards and also being able to paint in between the lines, particularly for hyperactive and autistic children because they have a, a, a big problem with being able to focus and direct their energy. With Alpha Meta, we see that this develops and it focuses so much stronger than ever before. And also, it increases their learning capacity. And that's one of the keys, is how you take information in and retain it so that we become more intelligent as time goes on. That's why Alpha Meta is so beneficial for kids in school because it enhances that learning capacity. And so they do retain more and so they become the smart guy in school. And you know, it's not just for kids. 
we're constantly learning, we're constantly performing. As we get older, we have to perform any more because we're working, we're under more stress and such. And that's when we also need the alpha meta in order to regenerate the brain, increase our work performance, as well as to regenerate those new brain cells because under all the stresses that we're exposed to, you have more and more brain cells that are jeopardized and affected and eventually can degenerate. We have shown in the clinical studies that alpha meta can actually prevent brain degeneration and as I mentioned also regeneration in older individuals so that they can live their life in a functional in a very happy energetic way. This will result in a better quality of life regardless of age. As I always say, it's not so much the quantity of age, it's the quality so that every day we're performing at our optimal capabilities and potential. Everybody wants to have that in their life. What you need to realize is Alpha Meta is not a drug. It's a functional food which your body needs for every function in the body. That's why they call it a functional food. Medications and drugs, they don't regenerate anything. You know, they can change the symptoms and can slow down the progression, but they don't reverse anything. The only thing capable of doing that, which I've seen in my 30 plus years of integrative medical practice, is a functional food to feed those cells so that they can perform at their optimal levels as well as they can regenerate. Because every day we have billions of cells that die and we have to replace those cells so that we can have our optimal life. Thank you, Dr. Mark Dalgan Smith, for the sharing in topic of brain health. I'm sure we can get some information and message from him to optimum our brain power to work a healthy and energetic lifestyle. Alpha Meta is a functional food which derives from an organically grown of selected whole rice grain. It contains high concentrate of alpha polysaccharide peptide, alpha PSB a unique functional and cellular food formulation made up of spatial polysaccharide, amino acid, mineral, vitamin, and phytonutrient. Alpha PSP can stimulate the metabolic enzyme production and enhance the bioenergy ATP production in the body cell. The supplying of the metabolic enzyme and ATP can strengthen the body function including regulate the normal metabolic process at the cellular level for better cellular detoxification, cellular repair and rejuvenation, and cell protection. This is the key to maintain the optimum vitality of the body, especially to keep the central nerve system and brain function properly. Many people start their first alpha meta and most of them experience immediate benefit. They will feel more energetic and better brain power. What we recommend is that individuals take alpha meta three times a day for 90 days. That because what you will see and what you will feel is a regeneration and revitalization and enhance the life force in the body and those 90 days are optimum to getting into that wonderful stage of optimum health and well-being. We have received some questions from our followers regarding to today's topic. We will try our best to answer the question. The first question from our follower is like this. What are the early signs of Alzheimer's disease? The first sign of Alzheimer's disease is typically memory loss. Memory loss associated again with Alzheimer's disease is more severe. It can disturb the daily life and make it difficult for someone who suffer from it to carry on a normal conversation. People who have Alzheimer's have to start dependent more on family members and tools such as notes and electronic devices get to keep track of things. The Alzheimer's Association laid out a list 
of 10 signs to be used for the early detection of Alzheimer's disease. First, memory load that disrupts the daily life. Second, difficulty in planning or solving problem. Third, difficulty completing familiar tasks at home and at work. The fourth, confusing with the time or place. The fifth, trouble understanding visual image and spatial relationship. Number six, new problem with work in speaking and writing. Number seven, misplacing things or losing the ability to retrace that. The eighth, decrease or poor judgment. Number nine, withdraw from work and social activity. And the last one, changing in mood and personality. As shared by our Smart Lab panel, AlphaMeta has been tested through the clinical trial which is able to provide the Alpha PSP to stimulate the brain cell development and enhancing the brain cell coordinating which maintain the optimum function of the central nerve system. This is the key to prevent brain cell degeneration condition and help to reduce the risk of the Alzheimer's disease. We have received another question from our follower. The question is like this. Does Alpha Meta help in hyperactive child? Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder or ADHD is one of the most common disorder in childhood. It's a neurodevelopmental disorder because it affects how the brain develops. The ADHD children always facing difficulty paying attention, inability to control impulsive behavior, and being hyperactive. A toast ADHD cannot be cured, but there are many resources to help manage this disorder. This includes nutritional intervention, psychotherapy, behavior intervention, and some specific training to help children stay focused and organized. Alpha Meta provides Alpha PSP, which is able to promote better brain cell development, thus to improve the brain function among the kids, especially for learning process. We have tried before with a group of hyperactive children to a non-clinical trial to evaluate the learning ability before and after taking the Alpha PSP for 90 days. What is amazing that most of the hyperactive children with the Alpha Meta have better concentration and focus power in learning process compared to the control group without taking Alpha Meta. Therefore, Alpha Meta is a good functional food for child to enhance the power of the brain okay, for better learning in the school. Try to give your child three times daily of Alpha Meta. They will get the significant improvement on this. We have received another question from our follower. The question is like this. What we can do in daily life to prevent brain degenerative such as Alzheimer's disease? Thank you for your question. Well, Alzheimer's become more common with age, but it is not a normal part of getting older, as the exact cause of Alzheimer's disease is still unknown, but there is no certain way to prevent the condition. But a healthy lifestyle can help to reduce your risks. First, taking care of your heart. The latest research actually showed that cardiovascular condition or those that affect the heart and blood vessel are linked to a higher risk to develop dementia later in life. Maintain a normal blood lipid profile, blood sugar level, and blood pressure can reduce the risk of Alzheimer's and dementia. Second, lose your body weight. Small change in body weight can have a big impact on health risks. 
Obesity is one of the factors causing to the metabolic syndrome and increase the risk of the brain cell degeneration thus to develop the Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Third, keep your lifestyle actively. A lack of the physical exercise is one of the highest contributing risk factors to cognitive decline and dementia in later life. Exercise help keep the brain healthy and improve the memory and thinking by supporting blood flow and oxygen supply to the brain, protecting brain function in later life. Aim for at least 30 minutes of exercise, five or more days per week. Four, maintain healthy sleep pattern. Sleep plays a major role in brain health. It's a critical for alertness mood, daytime functioning, and cognition. Increasing evidence show that sleep disturbed can increase the risk of the developing depression, cognitive problem, and dementia later in life. For a good health, you need to get at least eight to nine hours of sleep daily. The fifth, challenge your mind. People who keep learning and stay social may be less likely to get Alzheimer's disease. It's not completely clear yet, but the mental stimulation may be like a workout for your brain. Number six, healthy diet. In Alzheimer's disease, inflammation and insulin resistance injure the neuron and inhibits communication between brain cells. Cut down on sugar. High sugar food lead to the dramatic spike in blood sugar, which inflames your brain. Increase your plenty of vegetable, bean, whole grains, fish, and olive oil or fish oil, which able to provide the DHA found in this good fat may help to prevent Alzheimer's disease and dementia by reducing beta amyloid plaque. And lastly, don't forget to take alpha meta three times daily to provide the alpha PSP for your body, enhancing the bioenergy production and keep the better cell repair and rejuvenation, which is important for your brain power. We still have many questions from the follower. We do not have enough time to answer all the questions now. Please leave your message here so that we can get the feedback to you soon. This is all about for this episode. Living a smart lifestyle can lead to a healthy, happy and harmony life. Thank you and see you in the Beast World Global.